somebody has been nibbling the cheese. Right. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm so excited that you're having tea with me. I can see. I'm glad you're excited. We have to be excited in that hat. To me, you are as much a British icon as tea itself. It's a wondrous thing. And just thing. as loose sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so what does tea mean to you? Tea means nothing to me. Oh, Vienna. No, I love a cup of tea. But I just felt like singing that. It felt so appropriate. I wonder how much you would feel. My tea is a great leveller. It's this sort of, it's like a peace pipe. Hold that thought. I downed mine so quickly, I was... More tea. Voracious. We have a nice oolong for George. There you are, sir. Thank you, Nancy. And this colour is so beautiful, I hear it. It's got a it's, special name. It has, it's called the Wool de Nil. Eau de Nil, the, like the River Nile. Absolutely. Eau de Nil China and the Boy George blend of tea. Oh, okay. Well, I like it. It smells good. There is nothing better than the smell. Fancy. It's like an angel Pleasure. dancing on your tongue. <laughs> Cheers. George, <laughs> let's get serious. Absolutely. Thank you. I have a little tea quiz for you. Tea? I'm not sure if you know, but we both have Irish roots. Ireland has the second highest per capita consumption of tea drinking in the world. Well, that would just have been my house in the 70s. So I need you to tell me which country has the first. The tough one. I, w I, I was thinking India, but I think maybe somewhere like Turkey. <gasps> oh, you're correct. You are a genius. Fact, Turkey is a river of tea. How many cups do you think the Irish drink? average Irish person, how many cups of tea do they drink per day? Ten. Seven. Oh, seven? Not far off. Because in Ireland, anyone rings the doorbell, they get a cup of tea, it's just a thing. In the 1700s, when uh, tea became very popular in this country, was alcohol, coffee, or tea more expensive? Well, I think because tea was a sort of new thing on the block, wasn't mm -hmm. it? So I think tea probably would have been the most priciest commodity at that point. George, you are a tea expert. You have a gold star on your quiz. Oh, you're just teasing me. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a tease. <laughs> I feel like I've got some weird sort of connection to tea because I apparently once said I prefer tea to... I prefer a cup of sex no, to a cup you... of tea. I think I just said I prefer a cup of tea. I don't think I was specific. I think it was old oh, sex, I prefer a cup of tea. There's a little selection Short of Fortnum's breaths. finest. I do okay. think tea is just, um, it's not complete wrap without them on, a biscuit. Wrap them up, I'll take the lot. You'll be taking the whole thing home. <laughs> eat up, eat up. Good boy. I was having a debate online about biscuits the other day. I was saying when I was a kid, anyone that had chocolate digestives was posh. You know, I've talked about tea a lot in my life. You know, my dad put the kettle on, makes a cup of tea. Yeah. It was a constant thing when I was a kid. You just went, oh, no more tea. And then it changes, you know, as your life changes, you start to travel the world. You go to Japan, you have Japanese tea ceremony. You exactly. Know. It's such a, a powerful ritual that's so much a part of who we are, you know. We, like so many things, we kind of brush over it. You know, the sitting down to have a cup of tea and sitting down to eat something isn't just about eating the thing. I mean, that's nice too, don't get me wrong. Biscuits are great. Do you want to tell me a little bit about what you're doing? Well, we, we are, like many people, attempting to put on some live shows and we're looking at a gig at Wembley on December the 19th and then doing it as a live stream. And people, all live streaming is watching TV. <laughs> this experience in the last year, which is an over year, is... It's been such a different experience for every single different human being. You can't look at any one person and say, this is what's happened to everybody. No. It's been so unique and it's brought out some terrible things in us as people and some great things in us as people as well, you know. And I think, I hope we hold on to some of the great things that it's brought out. You know, I really do. I hope that we remain, that we don't just forget about this and go back and have a party, <laughs> you know. Like, I mean, that would be nice too, don't get me wrong. <laughs> oh. Look at the size of that. Everything in there is picked with you in mind specifically. I know you're vegetarian, I know you like cheese, I know you like uh, oolong tea, and I've put a little extra tea in there, just in case you want to try something else a little a bit more experimental. I need some tea bag earrings. Like maybe, well, you know. I think we can definitely <laughs> sort that out.
<laughs> really cute little miniature gold ones, you know, like diamond teeth. <laughs> what basket. are you going to put in your basket? <laughs> I'll put like, you know, because I've got, I do art, so I'll just use it in my art studio. It'll become very useful. It'll become one of those things. I'll put paints in there and also, it'll get used. Don't worry. I love a bit of straw. Now I need you to give me a question for my next guest. What would I ask anybody? Are you happy? And what does happiness mean to you? Ooh, that's an extraordinarily deep question. Are Only if you get a deep answer. Is it winning the pools? Is it beans on toast? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your tea. Please enjoy your cakes. Cheers. Mm, it's delicious. Long may you reign, madam. <laughs> and you know, sometimes people put it in the dishwasher. <gasps> I have to take it out mid-cycle. Oh!